based on my experience growing up with um, anxiety and depression, I eventually identified that if I changed what I ate, improved my eating habits, then I felt a lot better. Anxiety went down and depression went down. And so that's why I do what I do, helping people with brain health conditions. And autism is similar to anxiety and depression, and a lot of, a lot of times they overlap. And this is because the brain is affected by what we eat. So there's that old cliche, you are what you eat, which is very true. And the brain is a part of our body. It's an organ in the body, just like any other organ. And it is what we eat. So brain health is affected by uh, anything that may affect the rest of the body. The interesting thing about autism, though, is that not only is it a spectrum, but everybody's different. And the causes of autism have been such a mystery for so long since it started emerging. Um, you know, and it's quite common now. But initially, when it wasn't so common, it, it was quite an enigma. So, actually, there's a quote by an, an autism expert named Dr. Andrew Aidsman said that autism is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. And that's because autism is very puzzling from a biological perspective. It's uh, increasing in prevalence and incidence. And um, the reasons you know, were not very clear for a long time. However, um, scientists have been studying it and discovering what the root causes of autism are. And from that, we're able to help balance the brain biochemistry and bring things back into balance so that the brain is functioning better. Um, but it is a mystery, and it's, you know, it's compounded by the fact that autism is a spectrum disorder. And in addition to that, people have said that if you know one person with autism, you know one person with autism. And that's because the, the root causes or the root contributors to um, the brain health or struggling brain health are different for everyone. And that's what I aim to do is to figure out on an individual basis what is likely contributing to someone's um, lack of brain health or lack of optimal brain health, bring it back into balance, and then a person's functioning becomes better. The brain is an organ that's not visible on the outside. So in other words, if you're having um, a lack of, a br of brain health, then you're not gonna see a rash on your skin. You're not gonna see redness or anything like that. You're not even gonna feel pain. Um, rather, you're gonna feel emotional pain in, in the form of depression. Um, you'll feel discomfort in the form of anxiety. And also, the signs and symptoms manifest as differences in behavior, and things like that. And so there are these signs and symptoms that we can look at and we can get clues as to what the underlying problem might be with someone who's struggling with autism.